Hi, if you're wondering how I got this way, I'm going to show you a little movie. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, this is a comparison of my rubber plant and how it looks now, how it looked then. Yes, I threw it away. Much, much later. So I ordered this. In the picture, though, it was green. I'm not sure if this is the actual color, but we're about to find out because I'm going to unbox this now. And I don't know why it actually took me this long to order a humidifier for my plants, especially after a bunch of them have died. But I finally got one. And this will definitely help out my succulent plants because they're not supposed to be bone dry after watering them a day. They're dry the next day. So it is green. After looking at the box, I thought that it would be white, but gonna hook this up and come back the instructions to put this humidifier together is so simple this is just something really really simple to use rather than getting a huge humidifier that's going to take up space like you charge it for two hours you charge it while you're not using it whenever it's not in use you make sure that it's filled with water but since it's for plants i mean you don't really need to use it that often because it's basically watering your plants for you just in mist form but i'm really just using this for my succulents because they dry out really fast And here's the plant that my mom gave me. And I also moved to a different area because of the spider mites. And I have put up these lovely plant lamps that come in to you on a clip. This plant is actually doing very, very well. More well than I thought that it would. Because it's budding a lot. It has a lot of new leaves on it. If you can see, these are like new leaves, more budding leaves. This plant is doing good. And I've just, um, yesterday actually, I soaked some orange pills and maybe about like three pieces of pineapple pills because we juice fruit every week. And I soaked those pills in some water and I let it sit for a couple of hours and I water all of the plants which is like a natural way to get rid of bugs aka nets because I've seen a few nets come in and out of some of the plants so I put that water in here so that has worked out pretty well so far in all of the plants really and the spider mites are still nowhere to be found this cactus my boy is definitely thriving as you can see the color changes from here to here this ball used to be on top of the cactus and it was down to here it's grown about two inches this is the plant that's out in the most including the devil's ivy the two original plants that i have everything else has pretty much either died off or or I have replaced it with a different kind of plant, like I did with the snake plants. I still have an original snake plant left. Um, I can show you that now. So this is one of the original snake plants. The other one I had died. And I can actually show you that here. And then this is the other one. And this is in my bedroom in front of the window. These plants grow pretty well. It's warm in the bedroom, but
but because the plants are also by the window it's still getting like 50 50 type of air cool air and warm air three weeks later if you guys can tell from the thumbnail my baby succulents or two inch succulents i should say are still alive but parts of them have dried up and died off and again this is because my apartment i cannot control the heat in here so a lot of my plants will die off this is the other one i don't know if you can see it but it's still alive too some of the leaves have very much shriveled up and are dry the humidifier works but because i can't control the heat my plants will continue to just dry up and all of the leaves will fall off this elephant bush has zero leaves on it except for these three that you see right here on the top and that one just fell off <laughs> all of these leaves and petals that were on here have fallen off they're only the buds that are on the top there's nothing on this plant 